All right, let's start with this. I'm going to show you a piece of video. Mm-hmm. And I love Tua. I love him. And I, I would have drafted him regardless of the hip. But I just saw a piece of video. Ty, that looks like a limp to me. Is it? I want to say it's swag. That's what I want to say, but it sure looked like a limp. So if it's swag, his swag ain't on point right now with that one. <laughs> okay, so Joy thinks it's just kind of a cool walk. Yeah, it, it, that might be his cool walk. That might be, uh, you know, Alabama thing. <laughs> <laughs> they walked in. Okay, you got me on that one. I don't, I don't know if that's true. I just, I worry about it because now somebody did say there was a new tree there that could be landscaping and rocks around the tree. I think that's a good effort, but I don't think that's it. All right, we're gonna put a poll up on my Twitter. Okay, I want to, I want to get to two things. As a former defensive mm-hmm. back, the Jamal mm-hmm. Adams trade, the Jets got a lot. But Seattle got a great player. What was your initial reaction to the trade? One, if you have a leader like that in your in, in your locker room with New York Jets, why not try to find a way to keep them? But I understand if you give up that much for, for a player, this is a team sport. Uh, I think he's a, a great player. Um, he's going to make a major impact wherever he's at. But two first rounders, uh, and more, you got to get out of, it's not a quarterback, you know, at the end of the day. So, you know, I love Jamal, Ander, uh, Jamal Adams, what he stands for, how he plays the game, his aggressiveness, his physicality. But at the end of the day, this is a business. And when you give up uh, two first rounders and some, hey, you got to go. <laughs> so what do you make of all these players, six, seven players for the Patriots, more than any NFL team mm. opting out, explain mm. it to me. Is it a shot at Belichick? Why? Why the Patriots opting out? Would they do this if Brady was there? I don't get it. You tell me. You, you know what? I think there's a lot of things going on right now in, in the world that are more important than sports. And as much as they're trying, uh, as far as NFL, to follow the guidelines of the CDC, People have families and kids, so I don't think there's any right or wrong answer. Uh, if I was playing, you know, being a team player, I would check and see what's going on first, and I would have to consider my family. I'm not saying that I would be one of those guys that would opt out, but I would have to have a clear understanding of what's really going on, and it's not getting any better anytime soon. So uh, it is a very scary thing. I know a lot of players that I've talked to right now are in a tough position because they don't know what to do. People are having uh, newborns. People have elderly mothers, grandparents. So all those things is so much unknown right now. But to give anybody uh, say anything negative about them when it comes to not wanting to play, I don't think that is a, that that is fair at all. I mean, I think everyone has the right to do what's best for them and their family. So I mean, I have in, in nothing negative to say, but I don't think it's a knock on the Patriots. I think it's about it's it's the times of the unknown when it comes to the COVID nineteen. And they also the players opting out for New England are mostly veterans who have made some good money. Um, so Aaron Rodgers and got Super Bowl rings. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> if you got money in rings, what's the why risk it? I get that. So Aaron Rodgers came right. out, came out yesterday, Aaron, and he was brutally honest. He said, "Yeah, they moved up to pick Jordan Love. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to end my career here. I get it. I'm I'm not bitter about it. I know it. When you were in the NFL, go mm-hmm. back." Did you have this understanding at some point, it's not going to end the way I want? Did you did you sense it a year or two before it happened? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know that the NFL stands for not for long. This is a business at the end of the day. Uh, even the great Tom Brady, the greatest that ever played the game, he's playing for another team right now, as funny as that seems to everybody. But if you play this game long enough, you will find yourself on another team at some point. There's there's a select few players that get to finish their career. But because of the way the business is set up and free agency and opportunities uh, that you can create for yourself or if you get cut, it's just the name of the game. So Aaron Rodgers, he's not exempt, just like Tom Brady wasn't exempt. Uh, Jerry Rice, I'm talking about Joe Montana. I'm talking about all the goats of the game. No one is exempt from the business of the NFL, and Aaron Rodgers understands that. Yeah. By the way, V1 Vodka, that's the, that's the, you're, you're just, you've been very successful in business. What is it? Mm hmm. Oh, V1 Vodka is uh, uh, my new venture. I partnered 
with uh, Paul Koza. This is absolutely the best uh, vodka in the world. And to prove it, we have partnered with the Pro Football Hall of Fame and they chose us because they said what's in the side of our bottle represents what the Pro Football Hall of Fame is. And that's excellent. So we have excellence in the bottle. I have a signature drink called the Pick Six. I got to put it up because this is my favorite one. Cucumber, lemonade, splash of seltzer. It's called the Pick Six. So this is the drink of the summer, but everybody go out there and get it. But I can't say enough about it. Uh, I appreciate you having me on to be able to talk about it. But V1 is 100% spelt, you know, and that's what the one is for. We use one ingredient. We're not all over the place. And it's the highest ingredients, the ancient grain. So check it out. I promise you it's the best vodka you ever tasted. And lastly, I got to say, I, I had 30 tests, 30 taste tests. And I swear, Colin, and I know somebody at some point is going to have a difference of opinion. But for right now, I'm 30 for 30 on taste tests. And I put up every vodka uh, that you can name and put it next to V1s to some of my close friends and family. And they all pick V1. So I know I have something special here and I can't wait for everybody to taste it. And right now we are with uh, Republic for our national uh, distribution and we're coming to a city near you. So if it's not in your city, ask for it. Ty, it's <laughs> great seeing you, buddy. Thanks. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me. Download the all new Fox Sports app now. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.